good afternoon and happy Sunday. Today is the 3rd of May. So I've just finished editing the video that's going up in the next couple of hours. That was my day from yesterday, basting this lovely quilt here. Today we will be quilting said quilt. Won't we, Charlie boy? Oh. So I'm going to get my sewing machine set up. And I've just realised... I'm going to have to quilt it using white thread because I don't have any cream thread for some reason. Unless I do a cotton thread. This one here. I just want to see whether it's going to match. Oh, that could work. I might use this. There's plenty of it. I have spare bobbins, so it should work. It should be alright. Shouldn't have puppy. I've got the puppy dog next to me. Yes, sir. What are you doing? What are you doing, my puppy? Look at that beautiful boy. And look at you. You're so handsome. He's the beautiful boy. You're the beautiful boy? Yeah. Oh, good boy. Oh, you have to sit right there where it's awkward. Okay, so the red should be fine. And of course we need to put the walking foot on. Do I have a bobbin? I keep all my bobbins in this gorgeous, gorgeous little tin. Hey, look, I've got a bobbin with that thread on it. Yeah, sweet. Oh, that works. Happy days. Some nice clean straight lines when I'm quilting this quilt. Uh, I've decided to use uh, my hair marker. If you've never used a hair marker before, you can use this little tool to mark creases into your fabric, whether it be dressmaking or quilting or crafting or whatever. It's almost like in lure of using like a pencil or a marker or something like that. This makes a really nice, crisp, clean like line just on the center of the fabric or in this case the quilt uh, and I just follow that line when I'm quilting and I end up with a nice straight lovely line. You can also use this if you don't have a guide for your sewing machine that is like a, a stitch guide so you can use this to measure out the sort of like width between your lines and then yeah you can just sit down and sew. So that's what I'm going to be doing so I'm just going to mark out my first two lines. When I'm doing diagonal sort of lines like this I do a nice big sort of cross in the center so that everything's sort of anchored in and it sort of helps to have less sort of movement as well as like puckers and things like that it sort of just prevents that from happening. At the moment I don't think I'm going to finish quilting this today because I am sort of starting quite late in the day. I'm also cooking dinner tonight. We're doing a family favourite which is sweet potato and chorizo soup. It's originally a Jamie Oliver recipe but I've sort of adapted it to our sort of taste so I will show you how I make that when it comes to making it later on tonight. So the way that I use my hair marker is uh, with my ruler. I've just placed it where I would like the line to be. So it's just running directly through all of the seam points here uh, and then here and then into the next block. So once that's all in line, I just mark it with the hair marker. And you can see it just creates this sort of creased line which does wash out very, very easily. And you just sew over it and you've got a nice straight line. Back in the happy place, yeah. Um, right, I think I'm ready to go. Got my gloves, I always forget my gloves until I'm about to start quilting. The machine is all set up. I put my stitch length onto about a three. I usually have it on two and a half just for normal sewing, but I think three will just sort of move it through the machine a little bit easier. Take that all the way up to the top.
Okay, so I mean a look at what I have been quilting for the last hour or so. And I think I like where this is heading. I know definitely I'm not going to finish it today. So I think definitely tomorrow we'll get the quilting finished and put the binding on. But I'll show you what, what we've done so far. And yeah, I think I like it. So this is what we're kind of going for. This block is actually right at the center of the quilt. So it'll have that sort of crisscross kind of pattern. I definitely can't quilt straight lines, even though I've done the lines with the hair marker. I'm still a little bit, you know, squiff. So far, I think I'm happy with it. I mean, I say that for every quilt that I make. Uh, halfway through, I'm like, eh, I don't know, I think I like it. And then I end up liking it by the end. Um, so I think once it's finished, obviously, I think I'll be really quite happy with it, but it's going to take a while. I am now going to get dinner ready. I'm going to bring you along and show you how I make it. It's super, super easy, the soup that I'm making. It's so delicious, and I definitely recommend you giving it a go if you're a soup person. The recipe will be in the description box below. I have, I think, maybe shared this with you before, but if you didn't see it... I'll show you again how to make it. But yeah, it is delicious. It's a family favourite. We have it every year when it gets cooler. And it's really great the next day as well when like all the flavours have like matured and yeah, it's just so warming and lovely. But yeah, let's go make it. I thought I'd do some quilting. Update on dinner first. It was delicious. It was so good. I think that's one of the best versions of that soup that I have made. And I've been making this soup for a very long time. It was so good. I actually licked the ladle clean because it was just so yummy. Yeah, I'm going to do some more quilting, I think. Maybe just get one side finished. So then tomorrow... All I have to do is the next side. I wasn't really planning on doing any more quilting today. As I was making dinner, I was getting a really bad headache. And I think it's because of my hair. Because my hair is so thick and heavy. It's beginning to give me, like, headaches because it just pulls all the time. So either I need to... I mean, I definitely need to get a haircut. But either I need to learn how to wear it differently. Or just wait until the hairdresser opens back up again. I'm not sure whether they are yet. 
I'm not a big fan of going to the hairdresser, as you all know. I don't know, it's just a thing I have. So to be actually, you know, really needing to go and craving to go to the hairdresser is not like me. But I desperately need a haircut because it's it's hurting my head. And um, yeah. Uh, so I think where I left off, I need to refill my bobbin and do some more markings with the hair marker, hair marker and ruler. I find using a big long ruler really helpful because you actually get to do a longer line um, and it just gets done quicker. This is a, oh this one's in centimeters because it's a birch ruler. This is, oh my gosh, this is a 60 centimeter ruler so whatever that is in inches. And we'll just put on some nice calming music just to sort of calm the mind to the end of the day and just chill out and do some quilting. Sounds like a plan. Okay, so I think it's like 20 to 11 and I'm done for the day. I'm going to just stop it there. I am ready for bed. But what I've done so far, I'm actually really quite happy. One side is pretty much finished and it looks really good. I really like it. I think I could have basted it better because there's a little bit of movement in it. So there's a little bit of like creasage. I think once I wash it and maybe give it a bit of a press, you won't really notice I don't think but you know I'm not going to worry about it too much because it's it's a handmade quilt for my mum she's not going to care I'm really happy with it really really happy yeah you can see it look how nice that is it's so dainty and lovely and it's exactly what I wanted for this quilt so this design will be uh, all over the quilt I really quite like this little effect of it's just made like this cute little star. I just love how like tactile it is and just lovely. Oh, it's one of the many things that I love about quilting. Just making these sort of lines out of nowhere and they just look great. I love it. But anyway, I'm gonna say good night. Thank you for joining me today. Try out that soup. Let me know how you go. I hope you love it just as much as me and my family does. I hope you all have a lovely Sunday and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.